Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video, and we're going to do this season's Prestige Cup. We're going to do the last five races so you guys can get an idea of the time you're going to have to run. It always varies a little bit from person to person. This season's Prestige Cup is with the, apparently this is a Bugatti Vantage, but I, I'm pretty sure it's an Aston Martin. So anyways, let's go ahead and hit that Prestige Cup up. All right, so here we go, race number 25. And we'll see what kind of time we run here. So far, this has been pretty easy for me. I was lucky enough to get several stage six parts for this car. I always hate when it's a brand new car and there's no stage six parts for it. Those are the hard ones. But here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Second, nitrous, third, fourth. That was a lousy shift. I didn't do that very well. That's okay though. I think we'll be okay. I do believe. 11.7, that was a really bad time. I should be running like 11.5s or 11.6 something. But anyways, that was because I did a lousy shift pattern. I gotta get used to driving this car again. It's, it's a little weird. The shift in the first is a little weird because you don't want to do it instantly, but you don't want to do it too late. You gotta time it just right. And that's a little strange. Three, two, one, let go. I think I did it a little bit too early that time, but that's okay. You really want to shift around like 60, 6,000 or like 62 RPMs or something. Just a little bit before it gets into the red line, which is not really that easy to do. Thirteen zero so far, so good. I'm running 11.6. Just remember though. The Prestige Cup time always varies a little bit from person to person. So whatever I run, it might be a 10 sec... You might see a tenth of a second faster. You might see a tenth of a second slower. You might see the exact same time. It, it's kind of... You just never know, but it should be roughly in this ballpark for everybody. Three, two, one, go. There Oh, that was a little too late. We got a perfect shift on that one a little bit too late of a shift that's why it's hard because that needle drops really fast so i guess it's better to shift early than late i probably ran a lousy time there and 11.6 that was okay it wasn't too bad race number 28 here it comes race number 28 Oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we, here we, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good enough. This is a pretty nice car actually. I haven't tried the live race with it yet. I don't know if it's a good live racing car, but since it's very hard to beat Dino on this, I'm going to guess no. All right, here comes race number 29. I just got another stage six part, which I probably don't even need to install. Unless I, if I lose race 30, I'll go ahead and pause it, install that, retune it, and then go to do the last race again. But more than likely, I don't think I need to install it to finish the prestige cup. We'll find out. Three, two, one. Every once in a while I get that kickback, which is really weird, and it doesn't seem to slow me down when it happens, so I think if you get the kickback, it's not a bad thing. I, I probably ran a really good time right there, I would think. That's probably my best time ever, 11575. That wasn't bad. Alright, here comes the last race. This should give you guys a very good idea of how fast you're going to need your car to run in order to finish this season's Prestige Cup. Ooh, I got to go up against this Bugatti 
And that, that's a really awesome car. I wish I had that, actually. That's a very cool car. Three, two, one, go. That was a good one right there. That was almost perfect. It's very hard to get a perfect run on this car. I don't know, that first shift is just really, really weird. And I did it. Alright, let's see what time he ran. Whatever time this guy ran. So he ran on 11.891. So you should see probably within a tenth of a second either way. Maybe a tenth of a second faster. Maybe a tenth of a second slower. So he, he roughly ran 11.9. So you're probably going to see somewhere in the 11.8s to maybe even 11.10s. Hard to say. But it should be in that ballpark. It should be a similar time to this. Not exactly, because if I were to go race this again, all right, if I were to go race that race again, I would get a different car that ran a different time. But it's always going to be somewhere close, usually within a tenth of a second. All right? If you guys don't know how to tune your cars, make sure you check out my playlist. You can find that right off my YouTube channel. It's, you know, I don't share my tunes because... As you install parts on a car, you've got to change your tune. All right, you got to change your tune every time you install parts. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fit this because why not? I guess I'll throw a couple of parts in here. And that's good. I don't feel like spending any more pink parts on that. I'm probably never going to drive this car again until it's ready for some other type of event. So. I'm not even, I'm not even going to bother to put any more parts in. But anyways, you guys get the idea. That's about what time you're going to be expecting to run there. Very cool car overall. Probably not one of the better cars in the game, but it does have a high amount of Evo points. Anything that gets up over 1000 will earn you nice respect points if you can win. Like I said, if you can win live races with it. So anyways, I think that wraps this video up. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell that notifies you every time I make a new video. And I try and answer most people's comments, but occasionally there's actually a lot I end up missing. Because unfortunately, YouTube doesn't notify me of every comment that I get. Just the majority, and I get a lot of comments lately. So it's kind of hard to keep up. So if I miss your comment, I apologize. But I do try and answer any questions people have. So anyways, see you guys later.